busted. I'm Jody Miller. Let's get started. The Democrats' so-called recovery summer is off to a rough start, with the economy stalled and job losses rising. But the good news is that recovery summer will soon be followed by the fall of Pelosi. <laughs> Last week, Move America Forward held its annual Troopathon. Also held last week, Code Pink's bake sale for Hamas. <laughs> the Daily Coast is suing the company that handled its polling, citing fraud. Yeah, like their last poll, showing that 112% of Americans want to re-elect President Obama. <laughs> Speaking of polls, President Obama is now so unpopular, Chris Matthews just issued a clarification. He now says the thrill going up his leg was most likely just his sciatica. <laughs> Venezuela recently seized 11 oil rigs owned by American companies, or as Hugo Chavez called it, keeping up with Obama. <laughs> A woman in Colorado blamed a vampire for her recent car crash. You can tell the lady isn't a liberal, or she would have blamed George W. Bush. <laughs> Actor Gary Busey turned 66 years old last week, and he celebrated the same way he always does, by screaming at a pine cone for stealing his wallet. <laughs> and finally, Jay Leno's ratings are his lowest since retaking over The Tonight Show. And if that keeps up, he'll be forced to take Conan's place on TBS. <laughs> Thanks for watching News Busted, everybody. I'm Jody Miller. Be sure to subscribe to our videos. We'll catch you next time.